okay so if you have a sony bravia android smart television uh, sony bravia 4k uhd television whatever or any other android television whether it's lg or you know, any other brand how do you install any app on your on your on your android television and how do you manage it and what are the best practices for it right how do you delete uh, or uninstall a particular app this is what we're going to cover in this video. I've done a lot of videos around the Android TV apps, Smart TV apps, apps that, that you should install definitely on your television. Uh, just go through those videos in my channel, subscribe to my channel, like uh, um, my video if you if you really enjoy it. Okay, so going back to the 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 uh, the vid, I mean this particular. Uh, video around how do you install any particular uh, app on your on your television how what are the best practices okay so you must if you have an android television you should be able to see google play store here you just go to google play and then you find a particular app that you're looking for it's i mean if you go in here you should be able to see categorization on the top you see the featured apps then you should be, I mean, within the featured apps, you should be able to see TED, uh, I mean, Facebook, Kids, uh, YouTube Kids, I've done reviews of, for almost all of these uh, apps, uh, movie or, I mean, uh, or news apps, uh, Daily Motion, TED, uh, Bloomberg TV. Then you can have some paid apps as well within the Android uh, TV. Or uh, these are the top selling apps Facebook again, VLC Player, I've done a review of that, Kodi, I've, I've done a lot of videos on Kodi. And, and and you can see i mean games and i mean ch children our kids uh, apps are also here featured games entertainment apps music apps tv remote and within them uh, they, they should be able to see some utilities on it should allow you to categorize uh, apps so these are all media apps all together right if you go back you should be able to see uh, music apps all together right okay and then you can set up a uh, parental guidance if you go to uh, tools and you should be able to do some settings here uh, news apps are these are all all, all together uh, fox nbc i mean i mean just install it i mean i mean if you have android television you have you really have a very good television with you uh, i mean make full use of it i mean the only thing you need is a broadband connection and then within that you should be able to see settings and here we have parental control, uh, purchase authorization, auto updates. I mean, if it is really slowing your television, I would recommend you uh, do not auto update your apps uh, because in the background when you are watching uh, other apps, I mean, there would be a lot of operating system updates, app updates happening in background that might slow down uh, your TV. I mean, I've done videos on, on the best practices on how you can improve your television. Uh, performance and, and the links would be in the last 20 seconds of this video just go through that and make sure that you are following all these steps okay so how do you install it going back to uh, Google Play Store you just go there click on a particular app let's say Disney life and you just go to and click on, on install you can you should be reading full description or flagging it as inappropriate if you think so okay so you just click on install it will, it will it will take a few seconds to uh, install it and you can see it is going in here all right so that this is installing it is 18 mb uh, app so it should say take almost uh, 30 to 40 seconds all right all set and once you've done that you'll see it the install button changes to open button okay so this is how you get the app. Now, how do you manage it? And what are the best practices? We'll, we'll, go, we'll move to it next, okay? So this is happening. I just want to show you fully how it is. It looks up, I mean, okay. So you, you see it is a bit slow and depends on from, it varies from app to app. Here it is, almost one and a half, or almost a minute for that. And you can open that, okay? Okay, so we're not going, uh, so you should be, okay, already a Disney member or not. If you are, then you should be to activate it, enter the following code <coughs> with on that link, okay? Um, we're not going into that detail, but if you want to uninstall it, you're not, are not happy to it, go back to Google uh, Play. I'll just show you, here it is, Google Play, Play Store, uh, you go here. On Disney and you should be able to uninstall it from here okay now what are the best practices 
<clears throat> definitely if you're not using an app you should plug off uh, take off the internet connection because it slows down as i told you uh, there are a lot of uh, background updates happening on your television all the time and this, this can slow down your tv you have buffer issues buffering issues uh, while you're playing videos that's one thing second thing is you go to settings and <clears throat> you go to apps and within those apps you should be able to see all the downloaded apps that you have on your television right if that is running and it has kind of uh, frozen your television due to some reason or you you i mean it's, it's not moving and the performance is very uh, low of your television because of a particular app you go to four stop to four stop and you just click on that and you do you kill the uh, process which have, was running on that application okay so this is similar to control all delete on your laptop and you go to task manager and you end the task right this is one thing second thing you need to monitor how much cache memory and storage memory it is taking right so at the moment this particular app is taking 48.94 mb which is okay but applications like Kodi or others, I mean, Kodi is like 900 MB on your on your television. And in terms of clear cache, uh, in, in terms of cache memory, we've just installed it. Otherwise, it can go to several, several MBs of space. So you have to keep on clearing cache from time to time. That is one of the uh, things you need to do. And in terms of uh, permissions and notification, as we discussed earlier, you can uh, switch off the auto updates for apps. Okay. So like Kodi, just let, let me give you an example. In Kodi, uh, the cache memory here, you can see it's 87 MB, almost 83, sorry, 83.68 MB, which is a lot of uh, space and you can clear, keep it clearing from time to time unless you want customization, your preferences to be remembered, uh, things like that. Next thing you can do on your television is if you go to storage and reset, you can see how much space is being occupied. The more the, the data has been stored on your television, it slows down your TV, right? So internal storage at the moment is this much and it gives you a, a breakdown of how much photos and videos, apps. So at the moment on my TV, it's 1.7 GB, which is occupied by apps, cache data. You can clear up the cache data, as I said earlier, and only 500 megabyte of data is left on my TV. So I need to clear up. Or, or I mean, if it is really killing your TV, you can do a factory reset. I've done another video on how to factory reset and how to uh, set up new uh, build TV whenever you logging, you are starting your TV for the first time. Uh, also, what you can do is, I mean, if you go to power, uh, let me go to, okay, you let me go back to apps, and within apps, if you go to app permissions. Uh, here you see, I mean, other, other 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 stuff, location. I mean, it depends on you whether you want to share your location or not. So, a particular particular applications might want to uh, share your location, see your location if you know, for customization. I wouldn't prefer it personally because I mean, uh, every and I mean, the more the processes you put on your TV, uh, the slower it becomes, right? So these are the other system apps which are automatically running in, in background. So you can see these many processes running apps are running in background, Bluetooth and everything. You need, you should take it off, right? This is how you manage your apps and your television. Um, and if you really want a good performance and you're really bored, because this is, you have to start treating as a, it as a smart device. It's no lesser than your smart mobile or smartphone or your laptop. I mean, it's a machine, right? So you need to, Treat it in that way, and as as it gets older, as you get apps updates from time to time, as your processor is not the latest one which is available in the market, new uh, apps being installed which needs uh, support from higher Android version or processor capabilities, it will slow down your machine, and you need to kind of customize it and maybe manage it from time to time. So, uh, so this is how you install, uninstall, and manage apps. Hopefully the video has been very useful for you. In the last 20 seconds, I'll be showing other related videos. Uh, you should be going through them and follow some more best, best practices for your television. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, there are a lot of uh, videos uh, related to Sony Android television. Uh, the reviews of uh, many TVs, apps, 
uh, how you install and install apps and other utilities on your TV how do you live stream uh, sports on your smart television or your Android television how do you watch free sports movies TV series on this particular television a lot of things have been covered hopefully my channel is really useful for you because if you're after Android TV or smart television this is a must-have channel in your list right to subscribe to my channel post in your comments I'll be very happy to respond to them and like my video if you have if you have enjoyed it thank you very much for your time bye bye